One last feature I want to show you, and that is the Maps feature. And that's this button on the far right, Show Hide Maps. And this is basically where you have these little maps that you can add. Now some of these are just a plain map that you can do and you can zoom in on. For instance, I'll just drag this educational still right there. I can just drag that over. It's going to create a world map for me. The entire world being created in moments as I speak. I feel like a god. Okay, maybe not. Voila, we have a world upon which to play with. So we go over to this, and we have this clip, it's a five second clip, and uh, we can play. We can click on the uh, crop button and apply a Ken Burns effect. So we want to start out from the world. We can do a Ken Burns and say we want the end point. Click on the red, bo red box, go on red box, there we go. And we say we really want to focus on Africa. Okay. And we're going to start out wide. Let's hit play and see what we think. So there you go. Now you got something actually zooming in. I'm talking about Africa, the birth of the human species. Okay, the fertile crescent. Then you click done. Now, what if you needed a different type of map? Let me delete that one. What if you needed one like the Indiana Jones movies have, where you're flying from one city off to another city? Well, that's what you've got up here. You've got a flat one and you've got a globe. The globe one's really cool. Different ones you've got. Let's do the uh, watercolor globe. What do you think? Uh, actually, let's go with this one, the educational globe again. You just drag it over. And it's going to create a little video for me. The duration is four seconds. I'm going to make that a little longer so I can emphasize what I'm doing here. Make it six. And you can have San Francisco to be your start location or another city. Now you can't pick something as small as Harrisonburg, Virginia. You got to have one of the major cities um, in order for it to work. So we could choose something from Salzburg, Austria as our starting point. And then for our end location we can have an end point or we can just have a dot to emphasize Salzburg where it is on the map because I'm going to be talking about Salzburg and the movies that have been made there. Or you can choose end location and say that we flew from Salzburg to Paris. Well, no, not Paris. Let's say we flew all the way to, uh, what is it, New York? Oh, wait a minute. What else could we got in here? What kind of fun cities have we got? <coughs> about Parkersburg, West Virginia? And you click OK. And then it creates a little thing. You want to see how it looks? You can just click Done. And come on over here and hit Play. And we got on the plane, flew from Salzburg all the way over into West, by God, Virginia. There you go. You can then click the I to do effects, such as sepia tone to make it look older. Click done. And now we have a sepia tone map, a map that's older, as if this was a video shot many moons ago, a trip that was made a long time ago in the 40s, back when those planes were really small and flew around inside airport uh, terminals. <laughs> so the map effect can be a lot of fun. It can really help you in, in your, if you're doing an educational type of video. Um, just feel free to get in here and just explore them and uh, see, what you, see what you like. See what kind of fun you can have, how you can be creative and express what you want to do. Think outside the box, okay? To help you do that, in my next installment of this iMovie 09 series, I'm going to show you some advanced features in iMovie 09.